Hey everybody, Azak Randall here, and GB is on his way to the end for more cheese. Hello, first I'm coming over to collect some, end, uh, some nether bricks. Okay, cool. Please, take as many as you need. So, just to show you guys what I've been doing, uh, I've been laying out the, the foundation dimensions for our houses. So, as you can see, we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16. And I think I pretty much have where the colors are going to be also. So, that is a nice little thing to have ready. I can start building the houses over here. I'm going to tear this one down just because I want to make room for horses. But we know exactly where these things are going to go and which colors are going to go. Hey, GB. Hi. What are you doing? I didn't try to hit you. That's okay. <laughs> but we got that all figured out. And I think what today's... We're going to start working on a big project today. Um, GB's got his own big project with his big old box of cheese going on. Oh, yep. cactus farm's working out. I also have to do math. Math? Ew, I just did some of that like a couple of minutes ago. <laughs> So, we are going to have to dust off our ill-gotten gains. Also, we got name tags. Uh, I've been meaning to tell you that, but one of our villagers, um, our librarians in there, is, is selling name tags. But uh, we, uh, we're going to go ahead and dust off our, our nether star, and we are going to go ahead and put together a beacon. So, now we got a beacon. An ill-gotten beacon. So... You might have noticed that I've got a couple bricks right here. And uh, you probably have not noticed because I'm not really near what's going on, but... What? We have all of that iron. Iron's allowed to be used with beacons, so you don't have to go looking for diamonds. Welcome. Okay. Thank you for joining me. <laughs> uh, I also have... A set of two blocks there and a set of two blocks there and what that is is that's two chunks it's a chunk is a 16 by 16 block if anybody wants to see what it looks like if you hit f3 and g at the same time you see these lines pop up these are chunk barriers this will show you exactly where the chunks are so you can see that blue line right there is the corner of a chunk that's a chunk and then if you come over here that's a chunk and part of that chunk is underneath my house. But these two right here, these two chunks are slime chunks. And we need a slime farm. At least I think we need a slime farm. We probably don't. We're living right next to a swamp. But I want a slime farm. So <laughs> we are going to go ahead and start the arduous task. Remember when you could throw slime balls? I miss that. I do not remember that. You don't remember that? You used to be, uh, they were like eggs. Okay. You just yeet them. They didn't do any damage. Okay. Well, thank you for that, GB. Uh, <laughs> they were just green snowballs with a different name. So, what I'm going to do, and since a 16 by 16 is well within 50 blocks, what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to go down here, and this is going to be our entry point right here. It's not going to be our permanent entry point, but this is going to be how we get down there. Um, what I did is I went to a website called, let me see if I can recall what that is. Uh, I went to chunkbase.com, and I will put a link to that in the uh, in the description um, but if you go to chunkbase.com it'll actually all you have to do is put your seed in and it will tell you exactly where those things are because I really just didn't want to wander around forever trying to figure that out so what we're gonna do is dig down to a ridiculous level and we're gonna be smart here we are going to dig down two by two because I want to go all the way down to bedrock so yeah you can see I've got a, a bunch of junk on me also so let's go ahead and use our silk pick and what I'm going to do is like this because if I if I dig here I don't fall and if I dig here 
I don't fall. So I'm just going to keep digging down until we get down to bedrock. And I know that sounds like a ridiculous, 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 but from, uh, I believe it's Y level 42 all the way down to, um, all the way down to bedrock is where our farm is actually going to be because it's going to be a big farm. This is probably the biggest farm that we've built so far. It's probably, it's going to take several episodes to do. It's going to take a couple episodes just to dig this thing out. Um, I'm not going to dig out the entire thing on, on screen. I think that would be ridiculous and boring for everybody, but I'm at least going to get this a start. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, hey! <laughs> Hold on. This is level 11. This is our own... Okay. Okay. We're going to be digging out our own... Um, our own mine. Oh, hush. Nordy. My dog heard a wind. Wind bad. Wind is bad. Okay, so here is bedrock. So we are going to dig down to this this striking level right here. But I'm going to go one above bedrock because... Eh, no, we're going to dig down to bedrock. Because we want to have as much space as possible. Now, what I am going to do here is... Since with F3 you can see that I am at... 6432 64x z32 negatives um, I need to go to 6447 so we're just gonna keep an eye on that and that's that's the way we're gonna go right there so we are gonna go just like that and get until we get to Z47. And that should be one chunk. Here we go. There we go. So that is the that is the size of one chunk and it's going to be two chunks in this direction. So, what we are going to do now, let me just Double check something. I'm sorry you landed on the roof, buddy. Right, now I have to jump down. What we are going to do is, I believe it is that way. I just I need to double check. It's always good to measure, measure twice and cut once. Um, this is going down. So we need to get to. Let's see, that's 64. That is 47. We said. Okay, we need to get to negative 95, negative 32. So is this, yes, so negative 95. This is going to be so interesting because we're going to be actually be digging out a huge chunk of our own uh, base here. Oh, diamonds. Hello, diamonds. Diamonds are always good, even if you don't need them anymore. Okay, I don't want to go that far. Well, let's just go ahead and do the whole negative 95 thing. Sorry for how dark it is. I did not bring any lights because I'm a doink. Oh, that's better. F3. 95, 95. You know what? I have this golden curse of vanishing pickaxe that has been sitting in my chest for so long. I'm going to destroy it. Oh, here we are. We are there. All right, well, if, if you don't want it, just stick it inside the um, furnace. Yeah, but like, if it has a little, just a little bit of use, I'll yeah. take it. Well, I was going to say, put it in the furnace. Alright, so what we're going to do is All right, to build a... Uh, we are going to build a, um, a beacon. And the way that we're going to build the beacon is with iron. Let's get rid of that again. 
and let's see we've got our iron I am actually double checking the Vicky because I want to make sure that we've got everything going uh, let's see so it's gonna be four blocks high it's gonna take a lot a lot of blocks so let's go ahead and get this all constructed the world decided to stop loading and I couldn't see and then all of a sudden uh, like my entire self was in a shadow and so I just decided to twirl and land oh, and now you. I don't know where I am oh so, there's a path find it right after I so let's big... see so one two three and four okay cool okay this actually comes out this this works well for us for what we're trying to do because we have these boxes to fall back on oh my gosh it's so crazy i cannot believe we have all this stuff here and i didn't even realize i need to light this place up again so bad so let's go ahead and where did i put it there it is so that is going to be right there now we have to open this up to the sky so, F3, we're on negative 52, negative 40. So I'm going to go right up, back up top, and hope that isn't in the bottom of a river. Negative 52, negative 40. Negative 52, negative 40. So, this is 50, wait, no, no, no. Negative 52, negative 40. So right here, right here is where we should have to dig down to get a beacon ability. We are going to have to feed the beacon, but I should not run into, into any lava. Feed the beacon. Feed the beacon. Feed the beacon. Where are we going to feed it? I've got iron. Oh. We have all iron. the iron. Iron's just as good. That's even Woo! Okay. So, we got that. Now, let's go ahead and build our beacon a little bigger. The just, the, the creation of the beacon is the big, the big thing for this episode, I think. Because this know. is... It's almost done. I'm so excited. Well, I'm very proud of you. And I know other people would not do a beacon the way that I am, but I don't care. I'm not other people. Okay, so now we have a single beacon. It's kind of sad, but we got the uh, bringing home the beacon. Alright, so let us go ahead and continue the excavation I don't want to feed this thing until after we have all that we need from it and I hope this should be big enough to not be in the way or this should be far enough away to not be in the way uh, from our slime farm okay I might be wrong but if I am I'll just have to move it There's an even stronger beacon right here. Now we're not getting any benefits from it. I have a lot of, what am I doing? Let's see, let's see what we are doing. I have a lot of iron. I really need to not care. So we are gonna go with haste. Now I feel bad about something on my channel. Ooh. What? So. On my channel, I have the FNAF series that I'm working on. Okay. I've been talking about that nonstop for like ever yes, since I started. Yes, you have. So <laughs> I have been making little trailers, and I keep uh, like putting these two YouTubers who are going to be in the series in the trailers. Uh huh. But there are three YouTubers other than me that are in it, and I keep forgetting to advertise the other one because I keep forgetting that he's a YouTuber, and I feel bad about that. Oh, I'm very sorry. You should you should correct that. The only reason we haven't had the series filmed and and like is because of COVID 
And if there wasn't COVID, I would not be putting out non-stop trailers because I just want to get the series done. That's where I'm going to it. Yeah, well, I mean, it is it is a very off, awful thing, and all we can do is make the best of it. And the way that I'm doing that is I'm trying to spend more time with you. I am very important. You are very important. And and ever so modest. Alright, so we have now three layers of beacon. That is some thick bacon. Right there. Woot. We... <laughs> We will. You know what? We will do that. There was a, um, there's a YouTuber, and I am awful at names. Boffy. Was it Bossy? No, Boffy. 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 There's a, there's a Minecraft YouTuber named Boffy, and he did what, he did what, um, what GB over here wanted to do that I said probably wouldn't work, that I was too afraid to do, and not only did it work like it was it was crazy entertaining too and i feel really really dumb and he did above ground for not doing it because he yeah he did it above ground and everything boffy fought the wither with bees boffy fought the wither with a massive swarm of bees and I told GB that I didn't think it would work and we shouldn't do it and blah 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 and bad bad thoughts. Um, I you know shouldn't... I don't have good ideas unless I got it from someone who I saw it work with. Did you see it work? Yes, not by him, but yes. Oh, you saw somebody else do it? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, you didn't say that. I didn't say that I saw him do it either. I just saw, I said that I saw someone do it. Oh, well... Either way, I think that we are going to have to, since Boffy said, since Boffy would like other people to do it too, and we, um, we definitely have the materials. We got the bees. Um, I think the next time that we try to go after the wither, what we're going to do is fight him with a swarm of bees. So we need to start getting more... We need to start getting nether skulls again. Wither. Wither skulls. They're in the nether. Yeah, it just... It bothers me for some reason. It should bother you. <laughs> Alright. So, we now have a full beacon at bedrock. So you can do some really good mining. In near... In near center of site A. So let's go ahead and get our other benefit. We've got that and regeneration, resistance, or jump boost. I think regeneration. I think we're going to go with regeneration. Secondary power regeneration. Okay, so. Oh, what? Why, Ooh. Roman? Ooh. Are you serious? Is that what you're gonna do? What? Ron just decided to come up, get up all over my face, burp, and then walk away. Well, that's that's great. Dog. I need something to hit me. I'm in the end. Did I? I don't need you to hit me. Get this guy to hit me. I don't have regeneration. What did I do wrong? Where'd my haste go? There's my haste. What is going on? Where's my regeneration? Secondary power. Okay, am I doing this wrong? I'm just getting haste. I do not know how to use speed.
I think I should automatically have resistance, shouldn't I? Let's try it one more time. Let's cancel that. Are you making off with Odd Sounds, Roman? He is. Where's my resistance? Or my. Smack your head in my mouth as I'm trying to mine. Where's my regeneration? Okay. We need to figure out what is going on here. So, if I. Do, 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 do. Prime of powers, range. Once the beacon is emitting a beam, it can be fed an iron ingot, a gold ingot, an emerald, a diamond, a netherite ingot. To select the status given to players within range of the beacon. This is done through the beacon's GUI, displayed by pressing use while looking at the beacon block. It doesn't matter which of the items is fed into the beacon. Okay. Five primary powers. The secondary power available with a level four beacon is regeneration. Increases primary power to level two. It's also possible. I just, I don't know. I don't know. What am I doing wrong? Dad. What? Why is there so many letters in one day? Wednesday. Why is there so many what, uh, letters in one? Why is there so many letters in one day? Well, it used to be Odin's or Woden's day, so that's why Wotan's day, named after the Norse deity Woden, actually named after the uh, named after the um. Do, 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 do. Uh, da, 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 da. I cannot remember. Oh my gosh. Named after the, um, ah, I can't remember. Oh my gosh. Anglo-Saxon, the Anglo-Saxon deity Wotan, which is the Anglo-Saxon version of Odin, which blah, 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 blah. I can give you guys a mm. history and deity lesson later if you want it, but. Yeah. Okay. It is a kid friendly channel. Might as well put some more edge in the case in on it. Agreed. Why is my generation not my regeneration not working? I'm getting You're not worthy of its power. Angry. I don't understand. How do you get your secondary powers? Wait a minute. One, two, three, four. Did is this not a One, two, three. Secondary power. Okay. All right. Well, I'm getting snippy about this, but I guess I will let it go. So this is going to be one wide here. So let's just go ahead and get it let's dig in the dark for a little bit I offered GB to come help me but he didn't want to I need to finish my wall with his he's own got thing. his own things to do Let's go outside. It's almost done. he's he's like old man I don't have time for you I don't he doesn't have time for his old man anymore why are those sheep being sleepy Sleepy sheepish. I don't want to throw myself. No, Roman, okay. don't fight my mouth. So this you almost threw me off a cliff. is the outline of the bottom of the slime farm. It's pretty darn big. It's pretty darn big, and we need to uh, we need to dig out all the way from uh, level. Uh, 39? No. Yes? Yes, 39. Level 39. I'm tired of cutting down these trees. Why so many trees? Hello. 
I am up for education myself. If anybody knows why I'm not able to get the regeneration on this thing, please let me know. I really would like to know. Alright, so with that being done, what I am going to do is put this here. And I am going to go to level 39. Technically, I'm going to go to level 42. Now, the reason I'm going to level 42 is because... Is it 42? Yes, it's 42. I don't know what I'm saying. Anyway, level 42 down is where you're going to start getting your... Um, where you're going to start getting your slime spawns. So, this is the best place to start digging. And this should be uh, two. Ooh, ooh. Hello. Watch us get all this interesting stuff now. I found a um, abandoned mine shaft. Ooh. I don't know if it is our abandoned mine shaft, like if it's the same one that we've had in the past, but that might be a thing. Anyway, it's been about half an hour, about oh, yeah. 26 minutes, and I don't want to bore everybody, but. I would like you guys to know that the next time I do a video, I am going to have all of this for two block, for two chunks going that direction, dug out down to bedrock. So, I just realized something. Let us get what? In stone bricks, in um, F3G, dark prismarine would make the best Hogwarts castle. Endstone bricks and dark prismarine. Yes. I guess it could. Hello! I'm gonna I haven't seen one of these guys in a while. And look, you have nothing to sell me. I'm getting very angry with your tribe coming in here and trying to sell me things I already have or don't care about. I want a jungle sapling, and if I do not get a jungle sapling soon, I want to speak to your manager. What are you laughing at? Alright. Ah! Why'd you punch the kitty cat? I didn't. What I the kitty do? punched the ah. tradesman and now his llamas are spitting at me. I already cat turned. Ah! <laughs> I already kitty cat turned. Ow! <laughs> Why do you dare to lie to me? I did not hit a kitty. Alrighty, so. So, if you ever need in stone brick stairs, I have like a lot of leftovers. That's good. I mean, we can always use more. So, you as you can see, we have a couple of very large projects going on. We got the cheese wall being built over Which the mountain there. done in a couple of minutes. We'll take a look at it in a second. We've got these houses, which are going to be built, and we've got the... Oh, this place looks great with a beacon. Uh, and we've got the slime farm, which is actually going to be under our industrial district, which is actually pretty darn cool. Let's go check on GB in his cheesy city. Cheeseburg. Cheeseburg! Home yep. of the cheeseburgers. Yep. <laughs> and... By that way, was GB, by the way. He said that it was home of the cheeseburgers. I have um, a staircase out of dirt. I'm going to use the leftover staircase so I can have, like, yard villagers walking around the top of the wall. Or if they just want to. Well, I think Cheeseburg needs a... I want to put torches all along every block of the wall. Cheeseburg it really is in desperate need of a beacon. Because yeah, everybody knows that cheese goes good with beacon. It's delicious. The Beacon Cheeseburgers. The Beacon Cheeseburgers. <laughs> wow, we're dumb. Um, <laughs> so, uh, no, no, this is normal for weirdos. GB put stair blocks here to stop spiders from being able to climb the wall to get in. So, so you once. You can see from the outside of the wall. Once his. Uh, I am outside the wall. Once he gets everything all set up, 
nothing will be able to spawn inside and nothing will be able to get in from outside. So let's see how he's doing. Do you like how I'm using the wall from the top? That is really cool. Is this... What What is behind the wall? What am I walking on? Is this a brick or is this slabs? I'm confused what you mean. Are you over here? Oh yeah, there I, you are. I am by the dirt or er, staircase. I see it. Will not be dirt. I see you. I'm coming. So this item that we're standing on right now, GB. Mm. Is this just blocks? Yeah, these are blocks. Okay, so how are you going to mob mob proof this area? Oh, I'm gonna put um, uh, I'm gonna pour a torch on each block around here. Oh, that dude, that's that's overkill. You don't need to do that. Maybe every couple. Well, it's I mean, if you do like every five, every seven, it should be fine. Or you could put carpet. <clears throat> you you just really want your cheese book to be visible. You can also put um. I'd like carpet, a, a red carpet around here would look nice. Red carpet? Oh. Red carpet would look Gouda? <laughs> it took a second. It took a second. This is really cool. I like your little thing going on here. I kind of wish I was on my village, but like now we've got this thing going on. We're so close to getting done with the ranch. And I mean, you got cheese, I got ranch, everything's going great. Yeah. <sighs> Together we make dinner. Ranch. Ranch. Don't say cranch. No, that would be ketchup and ranch. It's this is shranch. Nasty. Shranch? Shranch. Shranch. So we need to get you a beacon for cheeseburg. Need some bacon on my cheese. The cheeseburgers would like a beacon. This looks really good, though. I'm very proud of you. You've put a lot of work into this. You've been running back and forth to the nether. And. Or, gosh, I always do that. You've got a nice little population going on here, too. Are you going to breed them up? Maybe. Are you just going to give them the opportunity, just make sure they have all their beds and everything, and they can increase, they can multiply as they see fit? You got bees. Yeah, I got bees in here. I got the bees, Dad. So are you going to raise the ground, or are you going to lower the ground? I'm not sure yet. I think I'm going to lower it, though, because I think that will be easier. We have a good amount, by the way, of, uh, do you want to keep this lava here? Uh, no, I would not like that. My villager keeps being dumb. You want me to fill it in? Yeah. Okay. Oh! Don't collect my stuff. I know where it is. Okay. <laughs> I walked off the wall. Um, do you want me to get these magma blocks out of here? Yes. <laughs> yes. These dumb villagers. Oh no, the villagers are staying away from the portal itself. Which is very good. I'm going to put a wall around the portal too. Keep it safe from the population. Are you stepping on the magma blocks and getting hurt? <laughs> anyway. So I think I think you're doing a really good job. I'm getting I'm very proud of you on your progress because this is you're you're keeping up with it and that's really cool. And I know sometimes you can have a short attention span, so it's really neat to see you put a lot of work in this. Part of the stairs? This like, part of the stairs? I made walls. Like, I used walls to add extra... Oh, 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 oh. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. You could put a guardhouse in the corners. And, like, the villagers are allowed to just take a look at the world they'll never live in. Hmm. Huh. Hmm. Huh. My kind of dungeon. Huh. I'm gonna... Uh, I'm gonna try and make a new security system. So I'm gonna have to out build a front the, uh, huh. Out front of main gate. Yeah. And then um, I'll open up main gate. So villagers are allowed to walk around outside of the village. They just need to come home at night. Are you going to build um, a... Roger, I don't know where he went. I think he died. Okay. Roger was a villager that got sealed out of the wall. And I was like, oh, come back at night. And then I never saw him again. Because I realized he didn't have an entrance. And he just 
I don't know where he is. I think he either got killed by a villager or is a hobo somewhere. Killed by a villager? Or killed by a zombie. They're no, zombies. cannibalizing? Zombies. Well, I don't know. Yes, he's a zombie. I don't know, I'll check around your walls. I mean, maybe we can find a Roger. Yeah, I look already. Move yeah. around uh, the side where the stairs are. Second set of eyes, you know. I'm going to take this gold now. But, um... No, this looks really cool, and I think you've got a good thing going with it. I think it looks great. But, um... Ouch. I know that it's hard for you to stay focused on a project, you know, for that long. And the fact that you've done this much to the point where you've you've got the walls completely sealed off. Yay. I'm I, I can't wait to see what this village is gonna look like. It's gonna be really cool. Hmm. And eventually, the wandering trader will start coming over to your place. Then I can put them in the torture dungeon. Then you can put him in the torture dungeon. You do yeah. understand he'll despawn, right? Not if I name him. His name will be Example. <laughs> That's kind of messed up. Ow! Where's Eric? I haven't seen Eric in a while. I'm a flame. I normally see Eric every day, and now I'm panicking. Because hey! Eric, Eric the cleric is my favorite. Eric, did you find Eric? Found Roger. Hello, I go. Are you sure? Um, I let somebody in. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. I've what created kind of problems. He? He's a villager. Just a tan coat or a great a brown coat. Brown coat. Yep, that's Roger. I handled the problem. Did you kill Roger? No. I Did you killed train him. I get. Wow. Right. I did not frame Roger. Where is Eric? I have not seen Eric for two two Minecraft days, and now no. I'm panicking. I don't know. Man. I let a dude in, and I also let in like three zombies, but I killed them all. Um, this is Smith. Tool Smith. <laughs> this is Smith. Tool Smith. Um, are you gonna get your librarian to make mending books and name him Mendel? This is Mendel, the librarian. Dad, I'm panicking. I can't find Eric. I can't find my cleric. I don't know what to tell you. He's my favorite villager. Let's see if we can fly up above don't the beacon. Me. Oh. Don't tell me I have to make an Eric G. This is so cool. So we got haste, but not regeneration. I'm not really sure why. Um, I'm gonna stop dwelling. Because you don't deserve it. Hey! It's your beacon, too. But I will get that regeneration. You're me. <laughs> I don't deserve this. Eric, I have a diamond sword! That's anyway. There's so, I think this is about where we're gonna end <gasps> off. Eric! Eric, I found him! <laughs> Zombie, no! Zombie's about to I kill Eric! He found Eric. Eric, inside. Um, Eric. So, Eric. we are working on getting the houses put in to the ranch, and we're working on getting a Eric. slime farm. Get your house, Eric. And I will show you progress reports as we do things for both. So, thank you for joining us. And we will see you next time in this blocky world that we call home. I am Asa Grendel. And yeah, this has been Go Bread. He wishes you, or he wishes you goodbye I, from a I, goat nearby. I, I bid you goodbye from a goat bid nearby. Bid you, yes, he bid you goodbye from a goat nearby. Both here. And I'm just going to go ahead and say keep playing with the kids. And keep playing Minecraft. And keep having fun. Don't grow up too fast yourself. And try not to kill yourself by flying with rockets. Cause Woo! This is a definite possibility when you're using F5. So, <laughs> I'll see you guys next time. Oh, that's a creeper. Bye.